Ba ba ba, rock and roll now, for goodness sake. Nuri rocks, that's the concept, and uh, it's tied in with the Battle of the Bands. And this giant of a man, a gentle giant of a man who's beside me here, this is a man who I taught uh, many years ago, Marty Murta, in Nuri Institute when we launched the BTEC Media course. And, you know, it's amazing, Marty, we, uh, when we were doing that 15 years ago, Little did we think we could sit in an office in Newry, as we are today, within 15 years, and uh, at the press of a magical button by Sean, we'd go out to the whole world. For goodness sake, I tell you. Technology, I'll tell you. Technology is right. So what is this concept of Newry Rocks? What's that about? Well, with Newry Rocks, what we're trying to do is we're trying to kind of like bring sort of events and music back into the Newry and Mourne area, but maybe not on a bigger scale, on a smaller scale. And we came about with uh, myself and Steve from Narrowwater Recording Studio got together mm. and thought about running a battle of the bands that would give younger bands and also bands, maybe younger bands from across Ireland, the opportunity to come to this area and to play. It's an interesting title, Battle of the Bands. Well, what, is it, what does it mean? Well, it means that um, on, a, on a given heat, five bands, some of the best bands from across Ireland will come together and they'll compete They'll compete um, against each other. They will play mm. five songs over a 20 minute slot. And they will then kind of like, uh, the, there'll be a prize at the end of the competition. Mm. So they are competing Maybe a recording for a contract or something. Yes, it's a great prize. It's three days in Narrow Water Recording Studio working yeah. with uh, producer Tom Newman from Virgin Records. Hey, Rikers. Virgin Records, Tom, he founded Tom. Virgin R with Richard Branson. He did indeed, yeah. yes. Hi Tom, how are you? If you're out Hi, there Tom. listening in, we want you in this studio very, very soon indeed. He's a wonderful Get human being. Yeah, yeah Definitely, absolutely. Yeah. So wh wh the platform for the battle will be where? Where will the battlefield be? Well, we have two venues because we wanted to really kind of like promote Nuria Morn. Yeah. So, as, and live music in Nuria Morn. And the two venues that we feel that are doing that are Amplified Bar, which is above the Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix Bar Amplified and the Melting Pot in Restrever. Okay, okay. And that's, that's, that's where it will occur. We've heard Battle of the Bands before. It's happened in your before? We have, yeah. yeah. I think um, with this kind of Battle of the Bands that we're doing, um, with the three days in the recording studio and that kind of Rather than, for us, rather than offering uh, a prize like uh, opening for a, a bigger act or, or whatnot, we feel that it's about bands getting the most they can. I think three days in a recording mm. studio working with a top recording yeah, producer. Yeah, Tom, Tom, Tom Newman. Newman. For goodness sake, you don't get any better Mike than Oldfield, that. Mike Oldfield, Tubular Bells. Now he, Tom was the producer of Tubular Bells for Mike Oldfield, That's for right, goodness yeah. sake. Founded Virgin Records with, with Richard. For, I, I tell you. It's uh, really I think, superb. <coughs> I think a younger band having that opportunity wow. is just... It's stupendous. Uh, so tell me about the state of health of the rock music sector within Newry and Mourne. Well, I think it's like anywhere. I think there's um, a lot of younger bands and you could say you, there is a healthy sort of community, but it doesn't maybe help with this X Factor generation where people um, it's almost like there's a pyramid of shattered dreams. People go to these talent competitions yeah. and be... A pyramid of shattered dreams. That's the best so you're way. Not, you're not enamored of X Factor and it may, maybe didn't break your heart the other night when somebody threw eggs at that fellow Simon. Well, I didn't even know that happened, so I, I just... I heard about that the other just day. Just Steve, did you hear about that? <laughs> no, it's apparently some lady in the, some lady in the group that was, uh, that was singing uh, she, out of the blue, she just went up and pelted him twice, and the security people came and lifted him and took took, took her away. Publicity, uh, publicity stunt. Oh, well, something like publicity that. But it's stunt. interesting that you're talking. You're you're actually you're not overly impressed with these well, talent competitions. I mean, I think they what they do is uh, younger people that come on that have maybe practiced for a very long time in their bedrooms. Uh, go on the show and maybe it's someone like Simon Kyle or Louis Walsh tell them basically they're rubbish. Oh, I mean, what does that do? Nice. What does that nice. do to a young yeah. person's confidence? It doesn't help it. It doesn't help it. And you could argue this sort of celebrity culture that at the minute is having a negative effect. Whereas when I was growing up, it was about 
getting into your cards, practicing in yeah, a band. Yeah, a group and of that's lads, all part guess, of it. Yeah. You may not necessarily make it, but yeah. it was a bit of crack yeah. and And your big fun. your big night wasn't the day you went to record with Simon. Your big night was when you, you went on stage in the local hall or the local pub. Exactly. Or club. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then you can get a chance then to develop. And not just musically, but also as a person, it gives yeah. you confidence to go out into the world fantastic. and that. It's a, it's a fantastic thing. And I think that's something when Yuri Rocks, what we're trying to do, we're trying to create a nursery, a, best, a better word. Uh, nursery is a lovely word. A nursery for younger bands coming through yeah. and, nurt and yeah. kind of nurture them and bring and them nurture forward. Them and bring them forward. Yeah. And yeah. this is kind of what we're aiming for with the Battle of the Bands. Have we got a band in Yuri at the moment? And maybe you're asking you to put your neck out here, but have, you, have we got a band in Yuri at the moment that stands on the doorstep of, of the potential for greatness? I think we do. Uh, we had, in our first heat, a young band called Fast Life went through to the semi-final of the Battle of the Bands. And I think they've got uh, potential there. They've had a recent lineup change and they've potential there to go on to bigger things. And we wish yeah. them all the best in the semi-finals. Yeah. What sort of music? I know what rock and roll. In my day, rock and roll was one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock, five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock, rock around the clock. Ten. It's not like that nowadays. Well, is um, it? It can be. Uh, it can be many things. What we what we want to state with the Battle of the Bands is even though we're Newry Rocks, Battle of the Bands, we have many diverse sort of artists of all sort of genres yeah. playing on the night. I mean, like, we have a young girl in the four feet, Stephanie Campbell, who's an upcoming recording artist. She's a, she plays country, Americana, yeah. folk, and it's brilliant. That sounds it's, good. It's very good. That's m more my class of territory, yeah. I tell you. We'll, <laughs> no, we'll, bring her in, we'll bring her in here. <coughs> Do, we want her we'll, in here. When will she come in? She's playing in Yuri on Friday the 28th. Well, we'll get her in before that, and that'll, that'll and be And she's important. also playing for me. I, as well as Newry Rocks Battle of the Bands, I'm doing a number of events. Wow. I've got a great fellow over in July, John Furhurst. He's described as the, the, Guardian, the Guardian magazine, described him as truly exquisite. Do you know something? Uh, you have Ian Sands down there with the blues in the bay. He's a, the older generation. But here you're coming along as a, a youthful entrepreneur and you're bringing talent together and you're promoting excellence. And this is continuing. It's an amazing thing you're doing. Congratulations. Thank you, Ron. It's really, really substantial. And uh, we'll, hear, we'll hear more about it. You must get me the timetable and all the rest of it so that we know Well, we have coming. a heat this Friday at Amplify Bar. We have yeah. five exceptional bands from across Ireland. And if people want to come down and yeah, hear, that'd be great. please, by all means, we kick And off will they be in Amplified during the Friday, getting ready and all of that sort of they thing? They will. We have sound checks from 7 till 9. That's Steve's wow. territory. Steve kind of, uh, I would be the organizer, the promo, the, do the, the, the promotion hey, of it. I'm going to check something here. Uh, Sean, w could we actually go along and film them, preparing and all the rest of it, and then we bring it back and bring this out to the people? We can look at that. We can do that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, that would be brilliant. And we'll have yeah. a ball. So tomorrow uh, we'll, we'll talk to Steve. Yep. Steve of Narrow Water Records. And uh, th then afterwards, come in, you're very welcome. It's good to see you. There, is that the mayor? My dear fellow, we'll talk to you in just a moment. The new mayor of Newry, the city of Newry, with us now, about to live stream, as my dear friend Marty has been doing all across the world. And uh, we'll, we'll let Marty go, play a piece of music from Sean, and then it will be Mayor Ruan. We'll be talking to immediately after that. Marty, thank you. Thanks, Ron. God bless thank you. And we'll you. talk later. Okay. We will. Sean, thank give you. us some music there.